I have it all in my notes written down the review for you guys so I'm gonna open my notes and search Nika lips okay very long hi guys I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel uh, if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you guys leave and also click on the bell button next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a video uh, let's get started into today's video and this is one video which was really really requested by y'all uh, when this launch took place a lot of people messaged me on Instagram DM saying we want a review we want a review but that was the day I was leaving for my holiday to Dubai so I could not get my hands on it not like I received PR from Nika so I had to go ahead and purchase once I was back I was busy with exams and stuff like that I completely forgot about these and then my aunt gave me one of these to try on and I, I swatched it and I put up a selfie on Instagram and then so many guys asked which color and when I said it was a Nika liquid lipstick so many people said review it please so I was like you know what I'm gonna do this I have three colors here with me I'm gonna swatch all the three and give you all my honest opinion like always I have a certain opinion about these lipsticks for sure so let's dive right into this video. Okay, so first let's start with a campaign for these lipsticks. It was a beautiful campaign. I loved how they carried off the whole thing. Uh, the whole uh, India is inspired by Indian cities and it's inspired by Indian colors. I loved, loved, loved the whole campaign. Loved how they carried it off. It was beautiful. Loved the names of the lipsticks. Aside from the campaign, one fact that I really, really like about the color a uh, variety of colors they have. They have two neutrals. Uh, one is Bombay and one is Madras Kapi. I've not tried Bombay. I feel like it wouldn't suit me, but I really want to give it a shot. It's always out of stock. Uh, I have Madras Kapi with me. I will swatch it for y'all. If y'all are interested in the swatches only, I will leave a timestamp over here so y'all can head right to the swatches if y'all are not interested in the review. Uh, but okay, so they have two neutrals and they have a variety of other colors. Right now, I'm wearing the shade It Girl. Uh, on my lips, this is what it is. It's more darker in the bottle than it's swatched on my lips. It's more lighter on my lips. But nevertheless, every color I feel would suit all skin tones. I don't feel there's a single color in this variety of liquid lips that they've come out with that won't suit a darker skin tone or a lighter skin tone. Apart from Bombay, maybe Bombay will not suit everyone, may, may not suit me as well. Uh, without a lip liner or darker lip liner but apart from that all of the colors look like they would suit a variety of skin tones so i love that they kept not just the indian tradition but the indian skin tone in mind that is very important to me i would go ahead to buy all the colors just because i love the color range the next factor is when they were advertising these lipsticks they came out with a certain amount of claims so i'm just going to go ahead in those in that order of claims i'm going to open up a nika post i have it saved on my instagram nika matte to last yeah these are the matte to last liquid lipstick range uh, crafted in italy inspired by india very good extreme matte finish so let's talk about this extreme matte finish shall we uh, when you apply the liquid lip it does apply a little wet but once it dries down it dries down completely matte like you can see this has completely dried down matte it is non-transfer proof it will not transfer at all that's the best best part what i love about these liquid lips is that it does not transfer there are certain liquid lips which say that they will not transfer but when you eat they will come on the periphery of your chips or of your fingers and it's an oily mess but even with oils these do not transfer the second point it says is lasts up to 8 to 12 hours now i have a little opinion about this lasting point uh, the problem for me is that they do say these are non-drying liquid lips but no they are not i apply a lip balm underneath at all times i'm always a person who applies lip balm underneath liquid lipsticks these don't feel very drying they don't feel like oh my god i want to take these off and apply another li lipstick right about now this is what some lipsticks make me feel but these are not that unbearably drying but they're definitely drying so if you have a lot of creases going on on your lips they will definitely emphasize those creases i will zoom you guys in during the swatches and you all can see that my lip creases are emphasized quite a bit 
uh, although I don't have that many, but they get emphasized throughout the day. And then when you eat, they will if they if they have to crack up. I mean, I won't say eight to twelve hours. They will last up to six hours. And after six hours, internally they start cracking up. You know, slightly. When they apply, they apply beautifully. They don't apply patchy. They apply smoothly. Uh, if you'll have tried Kalaba Hot Latte, my ultimate favorite lipstick, which I have lost. By the way, I need to buy a new one. It's it's just that way. It applies just that way. But Hot Latte does not dry me out that that much. This one j does feel drying, and uh, it does not apply patchy. But if you keep layering two three layers, it might get patchy. So I do not recommend that. That's the uh, disadvantage. I can tell you that you cannot touch up this lipstick. Like after six hours, if you go ahead to apply another layer. It'll just get patchy. So if you want to touch up these lipsticks, you will have to carry a lip balm with you or a lip gloss or another lipstick with you of the same shade, so you can always touch up during the day. But this same lipstick will not help you touch up during the day because then it will become a patchy mess. Apart from that, the drying factor. I think people who are comfortable wearing liquid lipsticks, they can easily pull it off. You can you can neglect the drying factor. The next point is kiss proof and transfer proof formula. Agree with this? It's kiss proof. It's transfer proof. Stunning formula. Supremely lightweight. Yes, that's so important to me. Uh, my Wet n Wild lipsticks, the Mega Last liquid lipsticks, they are very beautiful. I really like them. It's very heavy on the lips. When you're wearing lipstick, you feel you're wearing lipstick. Right now, if I wasn't looking at myself in the viewfinder. I wouldn't really be able to tell I'm wearing lipstick apart from the fact that my lips feel dry. I would not be able to tell because they're extremely lightweight. It's such a lightweight formula. I'm impressed with the way Nykaa is making their products these days. I'm more motivated to try more of their products because first I reviewed the highlighter which was great, stunning. It's what on my it's from it's in my inner corner today. That highlight is on my inner corner. I have the Elf highlighter on my cheeks. I love it. Uh, next, last point. It says cruelty-free and paraben-free. Very, very important. Especially for me, I'm an animal lover. I cannot imagine why would they test cosmetics. There are many brands. I'm pretty sure many, many brands I know. Uh, even Kalaba is not cruelty-free today. They've taken up their cruelty-free logo recently, off late. So it's very important for a brand to be cruelty-free. Wet n Wild, Nykaa, Lakme also I think is cruelty-free. I think I'm not sure about Lakme, but Wet n Wild and Nykaa are two brands which I know are cruelty-free. So big, big thumbs up for that. Yeah, that was about their claims. That was about my review about their claims. Am I agreeing with every claim that they have to make? Every apart from the lasting factor and apart from the drying factor. Okay, so the final point I'm going to mention is the packaging. Now, I did not mention packaging first in this video because many people don't really care, but I do. I'm personally a person who lives for packaging, and especially for these liquid lips, I was very interested and very intrigued with the way they came out with this entire cardboard box thing. So this is a uh, Guava Hotty. This is the shade Guava Hotty. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this cardboard box. It says Nykaa Matte to Last. It has the cities. I think this is from Guwahati. I'm not really sure. Uh, it says the name below, and then when you slide the box out, you can get your liquid lipstick inside it. Very very fancy. Very luxurious. Heavy packaging. Not light in any way. Uh, this is more of a deep red color. It says the name below, and the thing I do not like about this packaging is this stupid small doe foot applicator. Now, can you see how tiny this applicator is? This the main point about it. What irritates me is the stick of the applicator. Now, just look at this. This is how small it is. So when I'm like applying the lipstick, it's really a task, guys. Like. People who are not very comfortable applying liquid lipstick do not try with this lipstick. It's going to take you some time. Drawing the bottom lip is fine, but when you're on your top lip, you know you can really mess out your bottom lip, especially for people who don't have very plump lips. It can really be tough to get in the crevice because this this applicator has such a small stalk. I'm pretty sure the Smashbox one also might be like this. I've not tried it. But okay, that too. I'm paying fifteen hundred rupees for. Give me a bigger applicator. Give me more quantity. This has a price range of only five fifty. So I'm gonna give it that. That okay for five fifty, you all did a very good job with the formula. 
I could say y'all would Im increase the quantity maybe a little, but Nike is a new brand. It's really just developing. So I think giving this much formula, maybe in the later on ranges, they will come out with more quantity for their liquid lipsticks. You never know. Uh, I'm okay with the price range. I think 550 is a very good price, especially for the quality of the product they are offering us. I think it's a good deal. Um, but the applicator really, really bothers me. If they would have gone a little more thinner and a little more longer, they could have been able to fit in a more longer doe foot applicator, which is very important. So that is one negative I have to tell about this. Apart from that, the price range, the formula, everything else really impressed me. I would say these are definitely Sara approved liquid lipsticks. If you all want to go and buy it in the market, please go, go try one shade. I will swatch three now. So you can select whichever one you like. Go try out one, go see if you like it. And uh, sometimes I will give you all a trick. If you don't want to buy the lipstick, you can go, go to a Nykaa store, swatch it, roam in the mall, eat some food, Come back at the end of your day and then see if that lipstick really went well with your lips, went well with your food eating patterns because some people really don't care when they have lipsticks and they just eat anyhow, I'm also one of them. Uh, so if it does and if you do like the lipstick, go ahead, buy it. If you don't, then it's okay, it's fine, you can leave them all. So that was about it for the review. I know I'm late into this whole reviewing funda, so if you were not interested in my review, you can go ahead and watch the swatches now. Say the word, say the word Okay guys, so here were the swatches of the Nika Matte to Last Liquid Lipsticks. Let me know which was your favourite one down in the comments below. Definitely for me, Madras Kapi is a more wearable colour, so I have used it quite a bunch of times. Uh, but Gua Hoti has also taken my heart. It has a different undertone. It has a more uh, orange vermilion sort of undertone. Uh, Purnima says it looks like Sindur, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't look that deep red. It's more vermilion. So I like it. It's a different colour in my collection. I will be wearing these quite often. I do really like them. Uh, the only two negatives I already told you all. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you all found it informative and helpful. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button below. And before leaving, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make videos twice every week, Thursdays and Sundays. So stay tuned, click on the bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you all. Mwah.